What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we got the new end of an era, Sven Bender card to review today. Now we just reviewed Lars Bender, so if you guys missed it, the link will be in the description. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. That guy defensively, oh my god, he was an absolute beast. So obviously reviewing Sven Bender, if I had to pick just one and one only between the two, and I only could obviously afford one, I would obviously go for Lars, because Lars just off the stats look absolutely incredible. But you can't judge too early, because Ven Bender might be an absolute beast in game. So I don't want to judge it too early, but we're going to see how it goes. They are both six foot one. They both have medium high work rates, but Lars Bender has three star skill moves with a three star weak foot, while Sven having two star skill moves and a four star weak foot. So the difference between the two, I don't feel like it's going to be huge when it comes down to the skill moves and weak foot because they both, you know, they both are just straight up defensive beasts. So like you're not going to use a lot of skill moves. The weak foot, you might see a bit of a difference between the two, but I don't feel like it's going to be huge. You know, a huge, huge thing. Either way, Shadow Chem Stole, 10 Chem for Zven Bender. We used the uh, Anchor Chem Stole on Lars because he already had that pace to his game. But you definitely do need a Shadow Chem Stole for Zven. So he has got 86 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. So he's not too slow of a center back. Let's all be fair. Shooting ability, he has not got any. Like 77 shot power is pretty decent. But stuff like 41 finishing and 66 long shot aren't great. They're not great at all. Passing ability though he's got 77 vision 80 uh, sorry 83 93 short passing with the 83 long passing so passing ability doesn't look too bad i'm kind of scared for that vision in a way because usually players that don't have the highest vision they don't really go for those over top through balls like extremely down the line you know sometimes it goes off the pitch which is something i do not want to see now when it comes down to his dribbling ability it doesn't look great like 74 agility isn't great at all 72 balance isn't great 94 reactions is very good 72 ball control is not a sight you want to see especially as a center back he has got 68 dribbling with a 95 composure it's good to see that he's going to be composed on a ball but when it comes down to his ball control being 72 just this just pretty much means that the ball might be bouncing off him a decent amount of times now defensively 99 interceptions insane 89 heading accuracy 96 defensive awareness 99 stand tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well and if we are looking at the physicals he has got 85 jumping 84 stand 85 strength with a 93 aggression as well so i'm expecting him to be an absolute beast on defense like putting in those tackles those interceptions him being actually strong on the ball and obviously being super super aggressive when going in for tackles as well so when it comes down to the links i have gone for deco rio and my boy sink graven the reason i have not put lars bender onto the pitch is simply because i know I'm going to make the mistake and think Lars Bender did, sorry, Sven Bender did a tackle and it was actually Lars Bender. So I'm not going to put him in, you know, in game together. But I tell you what, this partnership right here, oh, it, it would be dirty. It would be very, very dirty. But we're going to keep it to Sink Graven because I can actually, you know, tell the difference. But boys, I will be playing him in a 4-4-2 in a center back position. And that's the only position I will be trying him in. But let's get into the games. Not through the gap. Sven, can he get there? Well played. That was a very good block. I don't like how deep he actually was there. Like, he was extremely deep. And the reason he was extremely deep, it was because he was actually tracking the run. But we got a little bit lucky, the fact that he was actually that deep because he could get the block in, you know? But, like, I don't know. He was keeping a lot of people on side, and I was panicking just a little bit. He's going to pass it across. That's a very good tackle. Well played, Sven. Good shielding as well. Just going to pass a Rio Ferdinand and just pass away. We've screwed up, boys. We've screwed up. Can you come in clutch, Sven? You are going to come in clutch, but it's going to be offside. Sven, I do see a through ball all the way down the line. Oh, it was open, but it's not going to be the greatest pass. And that is what I was telling you guys. Yes, he's got the 83 long passing to his game, but it's the fact that his vision is not the greatest. So stuff like that will happen time to time. Sven on the ball, going to go for that ball roll, decent dribbling, decent shielding as well, well played man, he's got that strength to his game, so he obviously can shield off for a decent amount of time, I panicked, I kind of, I saw no one, there was literally no one to pass to, Sven on the ball, little ball roll into the open space, ball roll again, he doesn't feel too bad, but it's like, 
yeah, he still doesn't feel great, you know. Obviously, Lars does feel better than him on the ball, and that's expected with the dribbling Lars actually does have. But it's like he still doesn't feel, you know, great on it. So if you are going to use him, just use him as a player that, you know, you don't dribble with too often. Like, you can give him the ball. You might go for a quick 180 turn, but don't, you know, overdo it. Don't keep going for these turns because you will 100% be caught off. He's hit it for the little gap. Is he going to try to give it back to Giroud? I'm actually trying to get out to him. Well played. That was really good aggression. I was trying to actually commit towards him again, but he obviously switched me automatically towards Sancho. So Sven's actually up here. Bender, let's see what you can do, bro. Let's see what you can do. Come on. It's going to be it's going to be a challenge. Oh, he loses it to Doherty. That is so annoying. Like, he's six foot one and he has got good jumping, but it's like he will lose those headers time to time. We're going to try to be aggressive, maybe go for a passing lane. You see how fast he actually was to get out to his opponent there? That was really, really good from him. Maybe go for that interception. Good strength against Giroud as well. He's just going to kind of hold it off a little bit. Well played, good dribbling. Pass it through the inside. There you go. Is this Bender? Oh, go on then. Let's see if we can get a shot. Oh, go on. Keep going. Keep going. Little bull roll. Cut into the inside. No, wait, hold up. Use the strength to hold him off. There you go. No, don't allow Bellerin in front of him. Come on. He's going to pass up. I'm going to do really good shielding to hold it off. Can I pass through the outside? No, come on. There you go. Well played. Just pass it away. There you go. Just pass it away. He's done his job. He's done what he needed to do. Get the ball and just give it to someone else. Just pass it through the middle. Is he going to give it back? He is. Let's go for that interception. Well played, man. I'm telling you, these interceptions are really, really good. And the thing that I'm... All I was gonna notice was the ball control. Like if the intercept, oh, sorry, if the intercept, if the ball comes at him with a decent amount of pace, I did feel like the ball control was gonna be a problem, and I thought he was gonna bounce off him a lot. But I'm telling you right now, it does really stick to his feet. Don't allow that one, two. See if I can catch him. Well played. That was a really good reach by him. He's gonna pass through the gap. He is. No, I can't switch to Bender. No overlap. Come on. No overlap. Well played. Good tackle. Take, take it calm. I see a little LBY down the line there. Is he going to be able to do it? He is. Sancho's on the ball. I see Son backstick. It's going to be a very ambitious ball, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, my. Imagine the, imagine the cross actually went into the back of the net. That would have been quite surprising to see. It's going to hit into the inside. Oh, can I get out to him? I can get out to him there, though. Good interception. Good aggression just to put Jota onto the ground. No pass through there. Well played. Use your strength to just body him off the ball. Oh, come on. Let's see the pace. Let's see it. Yeah, for me, honestly, for me, Lars would have caught up. For me, Lars would have caught up. And that's the difference between Sven and Lars. It's the pace. The pace is always going to be one big, big thing to have in that centre-back position. I'm not saying, obviously, Sven hasn't got it. But he hasn't got as much as, obviously, Lars. Get out to him. See if I can go for a slide tackle. It was a very questionable animation, I must admit. But I did actually try to go for a slide tackle. And it was a good tackle, to be fair. Get out to him. Well played. It was a decent interception, but we couldn't come out of the ball. I'm going to continue going with him. Maybe I can go for another slide tackle. I low-key want to be very aggressive with him. There you go. Good interception, but bounces off him again. Bounces off him again, but we do come out of it this time. Bender. Go on, lad. Go for the... Did that hit Son's head? Nah, come on. Sven. Don't allow Jota to have this ball for too long. No turn. Good tackle. That was a really good tackle reach. The fact that he actually could tackle him from the other side is really good. He's going to pass through the middle, isn't he? He is. Something I am really enjoying about him, by the way, is the fact that he actually tracks runs by himself. Like, it's that defensive awareness coming into play, which is really, really good. And it like kind of gives me, like, trust in him, you know? The fact that you know for a fact he is actually going to track that run, and you don't need to switch to him early. Oh, not the greatest interception. Is he going to go through the middle? He is going to try to go through the middle. Let's see. Come on. No cut inside. Well played. Really good tackle. That was just a simple read. He didn't really do much to be fair to him. Like, you know, he should have like pulled out a little bit of a skill move. No, but he just decided he wanted a turn. So it is time to review and we ended up playing two games with Sven. We didn't get a goal and we did not get an assist. But that's expected. When you're playing in that centre-back position, you don't expect to get goals and assists. But the real question is, who do I believe is better? Lars or Sven? 
I'm going to go for Lars. It's simple as that, especially when they're the exact same price. For me, I would have put Zven like 80k or 90k cheaper. I don't know why EA sat there and put them at the exact same price. Like the obvious option to actually go for is Lars because of that pace. The pace is going to be huge in that center back or even right back position, you know? So Lars for me is definitely the way to go, but do not sleep on Zven. Do not sleep on him because his tackling, tackling ability, I felt like, was better than Lars. And I do feel like his aggression was better than Lars. I felt like he came out with way, way more 50-50s. But let's get into the ratings. Pace-wise, obviously, it's going to be way less than Lars. I, I believe I gave Lars, I would say, a 9.4 out of 10. So for this card, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, like, an 8 point. I would say like an 8.6 slash an 8.7. Just not the fastest, you know? Shooting ability. Not going to give him one because we didn't take a shot with him. Passing ability, though. He had a good pass to his game when it came down to the short passing, without a doubt. But the long passing, there was the inconsistency there. 100%. The vision does let him down. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.3 slash an 8.4. Dribbling ability, this is where it has to be low because there was times I was personally trying to force the dribble with him, but it just really wasn't working. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like a 7.5 out of 10. Defending ability, as I said, he was better than Lars, you know, at like putting in tackles and stuff. I am going to give him a higher rating than Lars, so I am going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. And when it comes down to the physicals, the aggression was just absolutely incredible in this card. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I would honestly say like a 9.1. Outstanding. He's a card that hasn't got a lot of pace to his game. But it's a card that does put in one hell of a tackle. He reminds me of that Boateng card we did, I think it was a few months ago, where, you know, he can put in a tackle, he's got that physicality to his game, but he just hasn't got the pace, and the pace is always going to let him down. But I'll give him an overall rating out of 10, and it is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. But I still, I don't know what was going through EA's mind when putting those two players at the same price. It just doesn't make sense. Lars is obviously the way to go, boys. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.